the stage. The stage is a world of entertainment. Welcome. If seven days is a long time in politics, imagine what 35 years in television feels like. Oh boy, I'll tell you what. On tonight's celebration, we can't present it all, but we can bring you some of the highlights and occasional lowlights. They're the ones I'm in, I think. We've assembled tonight's show with the cooperation of all the networks and production companies, which is terrific because usually the other stations take the Saddam Hussein approach when it comes to sharing bits from their arsenal. But tonight it's all smiles. Years ago, the Hollywood studio MGM boasted they had more stars than there are in heaven. And television in the early days, Australian television, was in pretty good shape too. We could muster up enough stars to make a soup commercial. Behind these doors sits the soup set. Discerning. Good soup. Discriminating. It tastes just great. I like Heinz. I like Heinz. I like Heinz. They like Heinz. I like Heinz. Now, from that very table, we can trace the course of Australian television variety right from its primitive roots. And I'm sure you all know how enjoyable primitive, of course you do. So let's meet the soup set one by one. In the beginning, of course, there was me. This, of course, is not strictly true. Sydney had a Tonight Show before Melbourne, hosted by Keith Walsh. But in Melbourne Tonight, which I hosted on and off for, oh, almost 20 years, was Australia's and probably the world's first five-night-a-week variety show. Originally, it wasn't meant to be a variety show. It was based on the American Tonight Show format with interviews and the occasional song. But after a couple of weeks, it was discovered that I couldn't interview to save my life. That's a special job. Mike Willisy and Ray Martin do that and Yana. Well, I couldn't. So they brought in the singers in the impossible dresses and surrounded them with dancers. The writers were coming up with brand new, innovative comedy, which I and the regular cast, including the wonderful Joff Ellen, would rewrite into pure vaudeville style slapstick. <laughs> Comedy writer Fred Parsons and Rosie Sturgis and I invented two characters called the Wilsons. <laughs> And we put a few catchphrases into the language, such as, that was a joke, Joyce. Joyce, are you sure you haven't cooked up your knitting in <laughs> All of them are jokes, Joyce. Tony Lamont, a much-loved regular performer on IMT. Tony and I used to enjoy singing together. We loved the occasional duet. But she seemed to enjoy them much more than I did. I love you and don't you forget it. Like it. That's one more time that I said it. I love you and don't you forget it. There goes that song again. Never throw an arrangement away. Which brings us to two more faces from the soup set. The husband and wife team of Bobby Lim and Dawn Lake. Bobby had been a band leader and radio star. Dawn certainly knew her way around a song, which is fairly understandable when you see who she got to play the piano for. Oh, well, Music shows continued into the 1970s, especially on the ABC. There was Farnham and Byrne. And the very stylish Marcia Hines music. Meanwhile, back at the soup kitchen, we meet the lanky yank, Don Lane. Don came to Australia in the mid-60s to fill in when Dave Allen went back to England to further his career. Dave had been a funny and unpredictable Tonight Show host. 
But Don became even more popular, and for a while, Don's sidekick was a young pharmacist turned disc jockey. His name was Mike Walsh. Mike finally came into his own with his own long-running, popular daytime chat variety show. And hit his head on a marble floor. And it was the same... Jim Simmons said they were great-looking people. Well, she's absolutely right about the fellas, isn't she? Gene Simmons, the one with Kiss, not the lady Gene Simmons. Oh. <laughs> Get out of that one, Walsh. But back to Donald Morton Isaacson. I was doing my show in Melbourne while Don had his in Sydney. And in a technical exercise, which at the time seemed more complex than the moon landing, we joined Sydney and Melbourne by coaxial cable for a duet. Marching still right to After a couple of years back home in the States, Don came back to host his show from Melbourne in the 1970s, this was. Colour was in by then, and Don's show was certainly very colourful. Don won a couple of Logies, but he wasn't there to pick up his first Raw Prawn Award. It's a joke award for the worst in television. He wouldn't pick it up, so I did it for him in my usual tasteful style. Don will be thrilled with this. Uh, it's, you know, it's his first um, prawn. Uh, although I think in national service he had the crabs one sometimes. <laughs> Don got a little cranky about that, so needless to say, he didn't turn up to accept his second raw prawn. A young Melbourne impressionist did the honours that night. It was his TV debut. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not fantastic. I mean, you know, uh, heaven knows I'm the, I would be the last to deny the truth, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm tremendous, huh? OK. So, uh, Since like then, Steve Weizard has slowly but like surely transmogrified into I Don Lane <laughs> and can be seen a nightly. Bert Newton was another of the Heinz soup set, and he made a perfect partner. Bert was a marvellous asset to the Nine Network. He'd do the commercials that no one else had touched with a barge bowl. And everyone enjoys the gay life, don't they? Barbecues and parties and dances and things. There's one thing you must have, though, when you go along to any of your little parties and things. You must wear a glow-weave gay life. But Bert really came into his own on television's Night of Nights, The Logies. And the poor, um... Oh, bless you people, really. Um, I'll walk with God. Oh, oh shit. That's the best one of your pardon expression you ever got. Congratulations, Dan. Thank you, Doug. You're sober tonight. Someone said to me the other day, there are three ages in life. Youth, middle age, and gee, you look great. And thank you, my, uh, my agent. I like the boy. <laughs> Sorry, Mohammed. I, uh... No, it's okay. Hello, darling. <laughs> Were we ever married? You can think about it. You got a mouth to smile, Bert. Thank you. Variety has lost its prominence on television over recent years. There are only three shows left. Still waving the flag, there's the Midday Show. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual.
Tonight Live with Steve Vizard. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's time for Melbourne, 30 degrees and hot. <laughs> and of course, there's the perennial hey, hey, it's Saturday. Engaged once, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, nice check. No, no, no. <laughs> you remember. So that's television variety. Oh, there was one face I didn't mention. It was Honey. She was one of an almost extinct species called the Barrel Girl. I was just testing her <laughs> mouthwash, actually. At the end of the Australia's week, first was the lovely Panda. Bernie Sigley worked with the most enduring of the Barrel Girls, Denise Drysdale. Television goes in cycles, and good old variety is sure to come back in some way, shape or form. People still like song and dance, comedy sketches and sight acts. After all, as the song goes... The world is a stage, the stage is a world of entertainment. Soon we'll be back, but now the first of our glimpses of how time has ticked by since 1956. You get ready now, go, get over, don't you? Devil, my boot, 